In my last video, I obtained Platinum for RE2, but that didn't mean I 100% of the game, as the game itself has records which you can complete. One of these said records are the Tofu records, 5 of them in total, where you control different jiggly foods to escape the zombie horde, each with their own unique weapons and items. So today, I'ma finish these leftover records and rank which ones were the most annoying to get. Starting off with Tofu, he has a couple of herbs and a bunch of knives in his inventory, which makes him the most annoying Tofu out of all of them, cause all you can do is play defense, which means you can't kill zombies in any fun way. Also, adding to the fact that this is the first Tofu you use, the only experience you have with the map is when you finish the fourth survivor mode, which didn't help me because I beat the mode like a year ago, so I had no idea what enemies would show up and frequently got lost. Please don't grab me. Oh my god, I told you not to do that. Those reasons would make me not have any health and eventually die. Falcon punch! Dude, what is- go away! Thank you for waiting. Oh my god, dude. He doesn't even have backbones, but you're still able to- DUDE! What the f***? Dude, what am I even supposed to do, dude? Look at me. HOW IS THERE MEAT COMING OUT OF ME?! But after a few attempts, I completed it. There's gonna be nothing else in my way, and I'm gonna complete it just like that. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Just like that. And like I said earlier, he was the most annoying and boring character, so I'ma put him at the top of the list. Next up is Uriomochi. He has an all grenade inventory which was so fun to play around with, and now that I actually knew where I was going, it made things so much easier. However, I would still find a way to royally screw it up as the dogs proceeded to eat my ass, and I also got completely bodied by this liquor. But they would later come to regret their decisions. I still had trouble with Udio, but it was always fun blowing stuff up with them, so I'ma put him below the mid tier. Next up is Konjak. His inventory features 6 grenades, 2 heals, a grenade launcher, and a flamethrower, and playing as him was honestly really fun. I thought that blowing everything up with Udio Mochi was fun, but burning everything down was even more fun. You generally don't have to worry about enemies coming close to you because they're probably burned and crushed by them. And the only exception was Mr. X who was able to tank a few hits, which was really intimidating. But other than Mr. X, everything else was pretty easy to deal with. So this one is probably the least painful because you got so much good stuff. The second last tofu is Onion, who has the most random inventory out of all of them. You have two different pistols and a whole lot of green air. The thing that made him actually fun was the revolver, because this is just awesome. It does take forever to reload, but it's really effective. And since he has an abundance of heals, when you're hit, it's not so much of a big deal. But that didn't stop me from being super cautious. Which is why I ended up spending a couple of minutes killing this chief. Honestly, not much to say about him. Anyan was a mid character and the heals made it easier, which is how I beat the level on the first try. That's bull, dude! That's so bull! And we finally made it to the final tofu, the elegant flan. And playing it safe like last time, I proceeded to kill almost everything in my way, which was really fun. I was a little disappointed when Mr. X didn't turn into lasagna when I shot him in the face, but it was still good. I thought that having godly weapons would make this the easiest tofu, but somehow shooting very loud weapons awakened random enemies, which costed me a lot of health. And other times, my weapons would just miss enemies, and I was ratioed while having godly weapons. On my next attempt, I had trouble in the exact same spots, but I was able to take less damage, so I bolted to the finish line, but before crossing it, I made sure to taunt Mr. X. It was fun feeling godly using the most OP weapons in the game, but it's also pretty embarrassing when you die with those. So all in all, my final tier list looks like this. I was honestly pretty intimidated to finish the Tofu records because I'm pretty bad at RE2, but just like when I finished the game on Hardcore, I ended up not dying as much as I thought I would. So I think I'll attempt the S Plus Hardcore record sooner than later. Lastly, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Mata ne!